Hello everyone, my name is Hilde and welcome back to my channel. You've already guessed it, I'm sure, seeing this TN, but today is a flip through of my London journal. So let's get into it. Just because there's so much going on, I will, for most pages, just link everybody and everything in the description down below just because that will be easier. But if you have questions, be sure to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as best as I can and answer them, obviously. So yeah, um, first up, I have a Ziploc bag insert thing. And um, this is literally the setup as it went along to London with me. So inside, I have a little envelope with personal American information, which obviously I'm not gonna share further because, you know, privacy reasons. And then I also have, just in case I wanted the journal in London, um, some washi samplers that I made and I will be moving them to another TN that I have with me all the time. So yeah, it's all the stuff all different ones. These are some of my favorite washi tapes. And then uh, this is my main insert. As you can see, it's pretty heavily decorated on the cover and then the first page as well. These were our original trip dates, June 21st till 24th, but we had to move them due to strikes in the UK. And then um, we went uh, on July 5th to 8th, and then this was all our Eurostar information and then the hotel and um, the um, insurance, the travel insurance and these. Um, I just like made these two pages with stuff we wanted to do for each day. And then um, this is like the first page of my um, shopping list thingamajig. And these are all the shops I wanted to go to, like Present and Correct and the House of Mina Lima, Fortnum and Mason, the Japan Center. And then there's the Harry Potter shop at platform nine and three quarters. And then Too Faced because I was hunting down my moisturizer to no avail. <laughs> Alas, it's still sold out everywhere. I wish it would come back in stock. And then um, it's been months. Come on, I'm on my last one. Come on, Too Faced. I digress. And then this is the sketch for the tattoo I was going to get, but sadly we had to postpone the appointment because I got um, an infected bee sting on my leg, which obviously we couldn't tattoo over. So uh, I had to postpone it just before we left and that was really sad. But on the upside, I get to go back to London and have the tattoo done another time. So there's that. Um, and then I had some TK Max addresses because, you know, Code Orange was already starting in the UK and I wanted to do some Halloween shopping. And then this is a map of the Corgi Trail that I printed from the interwebs. And this is like probably the least decorated page or least full page in my journal. But yeah, um, this is the map we were using till we got an actual map. So it was handy that I had it because otherwise it would have been really hard to find any corgis. And then uh, these are just like stuff we wanted to do, like the Harry Potter photographic exhibition, which we had bought tickets beforehand. And then uh, since Dunstan in the East, we didn't end up doing, but I had written it down just in case we ended up doing it. Then the National Gallery, which we went to with um, our friend Jess. Um, then that was the address of the tattoo shop, which sadly I didn't get to go to. And then the Harry Potter statue at Lister Square, which I completely forgot about. <laughs> I have no brace sometimes. It's really bad. And then um, I just like doodled my outfits, stuff I wanted to wear because like just ideas, because then it would just be easier to pack. And it's just like really fun to do. And I colored them in with coloring pencils. Um, just because I had used so much fountain pen ink and I was a bit worried about going in with watercolor over it because it's, this is obviously not watercolor paper. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to pack lightly. So I wanted to do like different itinerations of the same stuff um, with different tops, obviously, like and different socks and, and stuff like that, but like with the same skirt. So I have to pack less. And like the same thing, I, I pack like both my orange dresses, but like maybe like wear them differently. And um yeah, and I did end up taking um, a Harry Potter satchel 
instead of my Halloween bag, just because the satchel is just like super practical for different reasons. And uh, I was a bit worried about damaging my nice, nice Petri Coffin bag. Um, and yeah, then I did a page for the Eurostar. And this was just like a, a, a bit of art ticket that I ripped up and then just used. And um, this is the going to, and I added some little ticket washies. And this is a, um, a plastic luggage tag I got at the Eurostar terminal. And this was a paper one and I attached them via crocodile. I love my crocodile because it lets me do things like this as well. So um, yeah, this is just like the wrapping paper they use at Harry Potter shops like Platform 9 and 3 quarters and the studio store. And I just really liked how it came out. So I added like a little note about Platform 9 and 3 quarters with some washi tape and a, a shop label because I thought that was just like way more fun. Then this was the most horrible hotel in the history of hotels. And um, yeah... I made like a little page about it. But if you want to know more, check out my vlog because that has actual reviews in it as well. This page is like an inserted page. I stuck it in with washi tape. And this is actually a little bag from Present and Correct. My heart-shaped pencils were in there. And if you want to see everything I got at Present and Correct or in London, full stop, check out my whole video. But yeah, um, I have painted like little... London paintings on a sheet of uh, Maruman Zuan and just cut them out and added them. These are like really weird scissors. Um, it's a bad representation, but there's a better uh, image, the actual image in my vlog. And um, I really wanted them, but I was too afraid to take them on Eurostar because I was worried they'd get confiscated and they were quite expensive. And then this is just uh, an image from Angel whilst we were walking there in this as well. And um, yeah. But I, I just wanted to use the bag. And so I did. And um, that day we went my friend Aliki, who I hadn't seen since 2017. And we went for dinner together. And Bert and I had pizza cones and Aliki had a regular pizza. And um, I wanted to use this washi tape as well, which I got on a sampler that my friend Lauren made me. Because uh, it has foxes and we had dinner at um, the Fox on the Green. So yeah, hence the Fox and the Greenery. This, this worked out so well. And then this is like for our first full day in London. And um, as you can see, I made a little intro page. I wish I knew how to do that, like that super fancy elaborate script. I'm, I need to find out online how to do it. The YouTube Academy will surely have it. There will be tutorials, I'm sure of it. And then, um, yeah, these are just some things we did. We went to the Noble Collection shop, which was very, very pretty. Would recommend. But again, there's a full review in my vlog. And then this is just an image of Covent Garden, because Covent Garden is just super beautiful. And this as well. And then we went to the National Gallery with our friend Jess, who we met outside at Trafalgar Square. And she had the good sense to take a picture of the National Gallery. So I used hers. She kindly gave it to me. And we went to see um, the Picasso Angre face to face, where they basically compared a portrait of Madame Moitessier by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre versus Picasso's version, uh, Woman with a Book. So, um, yeah, it was really cool to see them side by side. It was super, super awesome. This, I will say, this is just like, now they're like a point of interest, but I really tried to attach the menu, <laughs> which is like <clears throat> an A3 menu, like folded up. It's like A4, a but, you know, it's big. And I tried to attach it via crocodile, and um, it failed twice, but... The eyelets are still here, so now it's just like a point of interest. <laughs> but um, yeah, that failed. So don't attach really thick things with your crocodile or like just really big items because they will rip off. Like this hole was my first attempt at doing so. So yeah, um, I'm just saying crocodile, small, lightweight things. Um, and yeah, this is uh, another little painting I did of uh, ramen. I'm not going to say it's a successful painting, but it did work out better than doodling a um, <clears throat> melon soda float um, <laughs> with uh, Ecolina markers uh, with the brush pens. That really didn't work out, so I wrote that down. Ecolina uh, watercolor is better than Ecolina markers. But um, I still like how it came out. And this is the packaging for my gently dried dragon fruit. 
um, it was not as good as I had anticipated. And I think I may have over anticipated it, but I like the packaging, so I put it in anyway. And then this is a picture that I just took of Bert and I, and you can see Jess's melon soda float, and then me being very enthusiastic about mine. And then this is an actual Corgi Trail map, which I glued in. Had I crocodiled it, crocodiled it in, that would have not worked out well. But yeah, this is the map. And um, yeah, it's just a really cool reminder because I love doing the Corgi Trail. And then these are pictures of Jess and I with Corgis. This was Crackers. And uh, Beth took that picture, and this is a selfie um, that Jess and I took together. I can't remember what the Scorgi's name was, but that was the first one we farmed. And as you can see, we were very enthusiastic about seeing the first Scorgi. And then, um, yeah, this is just a picture. Um, I think Jess took this one as well. And I printed it um, to have, like, this purple haze over it and then this regular heart, but it didn't really come out. And um, the Paper Chase stickers I bought in London... Uh, there were corgi stickers, so I made use out of them as well. And this was a painting. And I um, I did drew little um, rainbows separately and then cut them out and stuck them on as well for extra collage purposes, but also to make sure that they would really pop. Um, I like that rainbow corgi. It was well cute. And then again, I made good use of all that um, wrapping for the house of Mina Lima, which I really, really love. That was so pretty, 100% would recommend. There's so many free things to do in London. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, so many free Harry Potter things to do. You don't have to pay for like the big, big things if that's not your thing or you just don't want to spend that much money and time. You can do lots of fun free things that take up much less time. And then um, I just like made some uh, a picture insert page because I loved all the pride stuff you could see in London. This is a picture that Jess took as well um, because she had her phone out and, you know, I ha would have, to, she could take a picture whilst we were walking and I would have to actually physically stand still and take a picture with my DSLR. But yeah, I loved how Chinatown had all these Chinese lanterns and then pride flags. And then this was the Oxford Street. You could see like these big pride flags all through London, which was amazing. And then they had, um, we stand together against hate, um, big billboards, sort of like the tube ads up on uh, a lot of stations. This was in Covent Garden, but I saw it in a couple of others. And then, yeah, that was everything for the Wednesday. And then the Thursday, again, I wish I had like nicer, fancy writing, but you know, made a lot of another thing. That was also the day where Boris Johnson resigned. So I stuck in a little, uh, in you know, a little article. I think, I believe it was the Evening Standard. I'm not sure what the newspaper was called, but if I find out, we'll link it down below. And this was about the Harry Potter uh, photographic exhibition in Covent Garden. Again, again, check my vlog if you want a proper review. Um, Bess and I did have fun right up to the butterbeer incident, but, um, you know, again, check my vlog. Um, but yeah, um, it's kind of not worth the money. I mean, we had a good time regardless, but, um, and, and it, it looks nice displayed like this, but it's just, it has a lot of flaws. I'll just put it that way. Um, and yeah, unless you're like a diehard Harry Potter fan, I just wouldn't bother. And um, yeah, then um, we went uh, to Forbidden Planet where we waited for my best friend, Charlotte. And we just went on a trek and we had burgers at Byron and we went shopping for books at like places like Treadwells and stuff. And we had a look at The Great Frog, which is one of Charlotte's favorite accessory stores. And it's Super cool. It's in Soho off Carnaby Street, but everything is so expensive. And then some pretty common garden flowers. Um, and yeah, just like a, a silly touristy picture. And then I did a uh, painted doodle of uh, the musical tin, the infamous musical tin, um, which is in my other videos, but it had to be included here as well because it's so fun. And then our last day, I was just like really sick, which, you know, if you've seen my vlog. And um, so this is like pretty plain to represent that. And that uh, was just like traveling back. I actually lost the um, 
the going to train to get. Um, so that's not included. So, but we didn't have the returning one. Thankfully, I lost it after we used it. So that was good. Um, and then um, my friend, Yessi, uh, who lives next door to us, kindly gave me some uh, stingy nettle and lemongrass tea to, you know, help me get better, which was much appreciated. And I need to go and buy more of that tea because it was so good, mm, delicious. And then, because I had lots of pages left, like this was the middle of the, um, of the notebook, I decided, well, of the insert, I decided to go and make like an art journal section because it seemed like really fun and it would allow me to use some more of the ephemera that I had left over. So I took the little baggie I got from the National Gallery because I bought a few things there and um, I ripped it apart stuck it in and had become quite wrinkly. So you get like different textures. Added a whole bunch of Kuretake Ganzai Tambi and then painted on acrylic sunflowers. Um, the System 3, and I believe it's by Dale Rowney, but I'm not 100% sure. And added some nice matching butterflies because you know, there's always a butterfly garden in London somewhere. Also butterflies summer. And then let me swap this around. This was the first half of my paper chase bag. It's just bags of potential. And it says, flaunt me, reuse me, recycle me. Well, I used yeah. And um, I, I wrote it down here as well on like a bit of painted um, note paper. It's not a successful London trip without at least one stop shopping a paper chase, which is true. And then I added some... Um, origami paper, which I literally bought the journal with. I can do a little bit of origami, but I like it because uh, it's so versatile for journaling. And then I added this amazing washi tape and some of the stickers I got at Paper Chase. So I thought that was just really fun. And then um, this was um, the other side of the bag, which had a frame, an empty frame that says, how do you doodle? And I thought, okay, Challenge accepted, and um, I got out my Kanzai and um, my uh, Pentel, what is it, the brush sign pens, and uh, I doodled the Halloween Corgi. It was a, a complete oversight, there was none. So I created my own and added some Halloween washi tape and just like some happy orange stripey one. And um, yeah, as you can see, I just made my own. And then this is a um, baking paper I got at Daiso in 2017, but I just like very sparsely keep it so I can um, do journaling pages with it when I feel like it. And this was one of the rare occasions I took it out. And here's a picture of little Kiwi-chan who stole um, two out of four towels I bought at TK Maxx. I mean, like I get like a very few code orangey things. And then she goes and steals half, which is just so typical, isn't it? And then they also had these amazing, amazing glasses. And I wanted them so much and Beth liked them as well. But sadly, glass, Eurostar, I mean, stuff gets thrown on top of your bags and stuff. And we were like, well, we can't fit it in like the luggage that we'll have with us, actually with us on the train. So let's just not. And I've been full of regret, <laughs> full of regret. We could actually use them as well. So I'm just like, mm. um, and yeah, then I just like did a random <laughs> acrylics um, art page saying, make it Halloween with like little designs from my towels and added leaves. And um, I did it, yeah, with acrylics and um, Posca pen. Now the next page, the normal next page was also acrylics and they used to stick to each other. So I decided to use some more leftover um, present and correct bag from another present and correct bag and just you grab another scrap and just make it into a completely different insert page, which I just stuck in with clear tape. And like these are um, just the uh, cover pages for my three London YouTube videos, as well as the dates they were published. And um, yeah, and then I wrote, see you next time, London. And this one is a little bit less wide, just because um, the format for uh, YouTube covers is just a little bit too long to go on um, a 
Canon Zoom Mini um, print, but as well on an Instax, why, uh, an Instax Mini print. God, words, words are hard. Um, so this one, because I wanted to keep the frame, I just made it a little bit smaller and cut off the white edges, but these I just like kind of cropped and that was fine. For these, it didn't matter, but this one, I just really wanted to keep that frame. And yeah, um, there's that. And then um, this is from a painting I did in my sketchbook of a London bus. I'm not super hype about how it came out, but um, it came out all right. So there's that. And it has a ghost driver, okay? I, I swear by it. I've, I've uh, tasked my friend Will, who uh, comes up with the cutest ghost stories on his Instagram. I'll, I'll link you to it, obviously. Um, I was like, can you make up a picture of the driver? Uh, sorry, not a picture, a story about the driver. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Um, but it hasn't yet. But yeah, I made like a, a collage page with a little print that I ripped a little. So it would just have like more character, so to speak, and more texture. And this little number print was already on the bag and uh, I just really wanted to keep it. So I did. I worked around it. And then this was just like me just randomly splashing color about and then adding a picture. And this has gone quite matte from like sticking to the other page already. But you know, I don't normally do like bothered arty things, but sometimes I just like feel like slapping color on a page. I mean, pretty sure everybody does. And then it flaps out a little bit like this and it says colors that remind me of London. And um, if you open it up, it has like a little, a little scrap bit as well, because why not, right? And um, so it's more like a junk journal than an art journal, I guess. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Explain the difference to me um, in the comments, please. Because sometimes I feel like some art journals are like junk journals a lot and I can't really tell them apart. But yeah, this is uh, another insert uh, largely made from a present and correct baggy. Um, the rest of the bag was used for this page. Um, so I put that bag to very good use, just like the other ones. And um, yeah, it's just um, some uh, stuff I put together. This I also got at Present and Correct and it seemed fun to have this little timetable with stuff we did and just like inserted stuff. And um, this as well, this is the stamp I got at Present and Correct. Um, and I stamped it and stuck it in because it just seemed like super fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I liked present incorrect. I would go back if only to buy lots of heart shaped pencils because they're actually really, really good pencils. I have one here, which is not yet sharpened, but, um, they look so gimmicky. I'm not sure if it focuses on the heart, but I'll give it a good go. But yeah, it looks so darn gimmicky, but it is just such good lead. And actually with like, cause this is literally like a heart. It, it sits so well in my hand. So uh, I, I want more. I definitely want more. But yeah, I digress. I was going to talk about this Eurostar page cause I thought it would be fun to use some of the kitty ephemera um, and just, you know, uh, add it in, in some pages because why not? Because then I have like a label that says Travel by Eurostar. And this is actually from a bag that held croissants at um, Pret-a-Manger. And I was, I'm, I'm kind of sad I didn't just take the entire bag because it was, I mean, I could have just like emptied the, uh, the crumbs out uh, over a bin or outside so like pigeons could eat them, whatever. Um, because uh, that's actually just like really fun and I wish I had some more of it. But, you know, alas, next time, however. And um, yeah, and then uh, I decided to use the rest of the journal because I have some more pages just to add things I want to do next London trip. Like things I forgot or things I couldn't or just things I still want to do. And um, yeah, so this picture is by, by, um, by Damien, one of the... French part of the country put her heads because uh, he got he actually didn't forget to take a picture of uh, the Harry Potter uh, statue on Leicester Square so I nabbed his for my journal purposes and then this is Bert at Buckingham Palace and I kind of feel like we should actually visit Buckingham Palace and do something like proper touristy or just 
see uh, the changing of the guard and you know visit some pretty parks because we like parks. And then this is uh, the London bus image that I, that I used to paint from, the reference. And I, I kind of want to ride the London bus because it feels like I would get from A to B as well as with the tube, but just see much, much more. Or just do one of those <laughs> touristy double-decker buses, you know? And then this is, again, the tattoo that I want to get done one day. I will succeed. It will be on my leg one day. Um, and yeah, then I have some more of that beautiful, beautiful washi tape. And because uh, I want to actually bother to, you know, sit down. Well, it's not a bother, but you know what I mean. Sit down and write postcards and send them home. And if I can't find any stamps, send them home when I'm actually, uh, send them to people when I'm actually home. Doesn't matter, but I want to send postcards. And then this page is just for foodstuffs. So I left some open. And this is a picture of a pretty pub, the Sherlock Holmes pub that we walked past. And uh, I put it in because I just kind of feel like I would really have like to have something like fish and chips or something like that. You know, a traditional English meal at a real London pub. Um, and we did have food at a real London pub when we went to the Fox on the Green, but we had pizza cones. They're not actual traditional English fare. And then I also want to eat sushi and a mochi matcha donut at the Japan Center. I totally forgot to get a donut. Um, because I was so full from lunch and that is sad because, you know, but, uh, next time something else to look forward to. And then this is yet another unfinished page because I might want to add stuff. Um, I do want to go to visit St. Dunstan on the East or Abney Park or something like that. It, I think it would be super cool to visit one of those cemeteries or just like remnants. This is not a, an actual cemetery. We were walking up to the Strand Hotel to see the, to the corgi they had there. And then there was this um, sort of like a garden. I'm not sure what it was, what kind of building it was attached to, but it had gravestones. So I just stuck my camera between two fence poles and took this photo. And then this is um, just like a stained glass sticker. And um, because I wanted to visit a cool church or cathedral, potentially Westminster, we have been to St. Paul's, so I think it would be fun to go to Westminster next. And then this bit sticking out is just an envelope I stuck right at the back, um, just in case I want to shove things in. And I now have a couple of uh, blank pages, and then I can just add things down as I see them, because I follow a bunch of London Instagram accounts, and uh, there might be a cool new restaurant that opens, or, you know, you never know. So uh, I have space to continue working in this in the future, like, sort of plan out my next London trip, and then when everything's booked and settled, I will uh, get a new insert and redo all of this. Well, it will look completely different, but I will add more travel information, what we want to do, you know, places we want to visit. I will definitely add those again, probably do more outfit doodles. And then uh, I will once again, like journal and art slash junk journal as well. But yeah, um, that was that insert. Um, so yeah, this is the back of the Ziploc one that has like a big pocket in which I keep my um, plastic card, which is very handy if you need your page to become flat again. And it also has, uh, because I tend to write with fountain pen, some blotting paper that I cut to size. And then this is an insert from a flying tiger traveler's notebook dupe, which I didn't use, but I thought it would be good to have the option to store extra things. Um, and then this is just another traveler company insert in which I wrote my shopping list. I wrote my notes for my vlog because I inserted like review bits and then the rest is empty. So I'm just going to set this aside as well and keep this for the next trip planning and just take it along again. So I can take like random notes before I transfer them properly onto pages in the main one. So, uh, yeah, this will just like remain my travel setup, but, um, I will remove this insert and store it somewhere because it's uh, pretty much full. Um, and I need space for an insert for an extra.
I forgot to show you, but I also have this guy in here. I got this on Nomado, and it is, if I'm not mistaken, an official um, TN insert. And you can put an A4 sheet in here. And I had it taken along because I wanted to put a free tube map in there, but sadly, they were not a thing. Also, this is the format of our regular insert. This is the one I just had a few lists in. And this, this guy. <laughs> is uh, the one I've uh, I've been using. So you can totally see the difference, how fat this one got. And uh, yeah, I still wanted to show you that. So there you go. So yeah, that's my personal travel setup for uh, when it comes to journaling. Um, on, on the actual trip and afterwards. I hope you found it useful or inspirational if you were looking to set up your own or just enjoyed looking at it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite page um, or just leave a comment a full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Uh, subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. Um, Hit that notification bell so YouTube hopefully, hopefully actually tells you when I've uploaded a new video. There will be cats once I stop talking. As usual, song of the day is God Save the Queen by the Sex Pistols. I mean, I have to include that one. It's the Queen's Jubilee after all, and we have the Corgi Trail for her Jubilee. So uh, yeah, that had to happen. Um, Stick around for the cats and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!